So chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably have that fat old school dead wallet. If you know what I'm talking about, let me go ahead and flash some pictures of my brother, which is that person with that old school wallet. He probably has receipts in there from his last city from when I graduated high school, which was a long time ago, all right? But it's time to get rid of that wallet. It's time to come with times. Don't pull that and slap it on the table when you got done like you're doing something. No. Let's go ahead and get you up to date and let's take a look at the Andar Pilot Wallet. This is going to be one of those minimalist style wallets which I feel everybody should be able to go to because you don't know how much clutter is in your wallet until you actually clean that thing out. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Andar the Pilot, you have a little silhouette of the actual wallet itself and this is going to be in the saddle brown color. Now you know Andar has tons of colors, camel tan, black, all of those colors that they have. Guess what? The wallet's coming in all of those colors so this is going to be that saddle brown and when you get your packaging the little pull tab is actually going to be the color of the wallet that you choose just a little attention to details i love those things so let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging really not much always clean very professional packaging when it comes to indoor so Let's take a look at the wallet itself, all right? This is going to be that saddle brown, which already has character when it comes to this color. I wish, and or you might need to make a case and or Aspen saddle brown. Just the way this looks will be just absolutely magnificent. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Full grain leather, so you already know we got to give it that. Woo! Always is a good time when it comes to smelling the Andar products, man. So right here, you get a little cash slot. This is going to hold up to 15 bills, and we'll demonstrate it. We'll throw some little money in here with all the cards. We're going to show how everything works. Cash strike right here. You get a little Andar branding right there, which is embossed in there. You get a nice little stitched type of construction when it comes to this wallet, man. Very high quality in my, my feel when you're actually holding on to it. You get another little Andar logo right here. You get a little, a little card slot, which holds up to one to two cards, however you see fit. Whatever makes you more comfortable when it comes to holding cards into your wallet, that's what this does. And the main part of it, this little anodized aluminum slot right here holds up to six cards. And on the bottom, the way you get those cards out, you're going to have a little action, little actuator right here, which is going to pop the cards up in a very nice fashion. So let's go ahead and first test it out. Let's go ahead and test the little cash slot out that holds 15 cards. You know, I got a little bit of a little bit of play money right here. It is it's fake money. I wish it was real money. Okay, but we're gonna fold it up like this. And basically we're gonna slide it in here. Now me personally I normally wouldn't carry this much cash but say for an example you know when i'm going out of town i like to have a little few a little bit of money on me and that's basically exactly how the cash strap right here will do you fold your money over slide it in there and that's going to be a clean look still going to be thinner than majority of your dead while it's out here and this is fake money so you know it's the exact same size it's the exact same thickness it's everything all right so this is how the cash stripe is basically going to work now when it comes to the front slot, this is one to where I maybe just like to keep one thing in there. And it's one thing that you probably access the most, whether it's your main debit card, credit card, or your ID of some sort. So let's just go ahead and grab something. Let's grab this card right here. And this card has raised letters on it. Fake card. All right, everybody, you people out there just trying to get me. All right, these are fake cards. So let's just slide it in this little pocket right here. And even with this raised letters, it slides in there just fine. So it always makes a difference when you're talking about wallets and different things like that, whether your cards has the raised letters or they don't have the raised letters, but this one does, slides in there just fine. Now say for an example, you have two cards, you have a license or something else that you wanna put in here, you can fit two cards in there, all right? Initially, it's going to be very tight. This is a wallet when it comes to leather, of course, that's going to need time to break in over time. So once you use this wallet and you start taking these cards in and out, in and out, this front pocket is going to begin to expand. It's going to, be, you know, it's going to break in and allow the use case to be a little bit more easier. So you got your 15 you know, 15 bills in your cash slot. You have your two cards, which is the maximum, all right? I would not try to put more than two cards in this front pocket. So two cards, 15 bills, and let's just go ahead and count out six cards, all right? You might have a hotel key. You might have a gym membership, one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are gonna be six cards. Now these are gonna be all flat lay cards. I don't have any more. I need to get more raised letter cards, but guess what? I mean, these days, those raised letters are starting to go away. Everybody's coming with the flat style. So let's just go ahead and put six cards in there. And this is basically the setup that you can have all together. Cash, two cards. You have your six card slot. Boom, do that actuator and it pops up. And that's going to be a nice pop. And what I always say is put your two used cards right here on the back side and also on the front side. Because I always tend to put my debit card or something right here so you can access it pretty quick and then slide it back in there and press it down. 
This is just a clean overall look when it comes to this all design. It just, everything goes together very good. And also it's RFID protected words, T. Go ahead and say it. So you don't got to worry about skimmers or anybody out there who's trying to get your stuff. All right, you're paranoid when the wallet's in your back pocket. You got to think about those things. You don't got to worry about it when it comes to the Pilot Series, when it comes to this wallet. So overall, man, this is a very, just a nice looking design. The car, you know, the car strap is kind of out of your way. You don't really feel it. You know, that's a lot of things when it comes to these slim style wallets. And when you have a cash slot, they have some type of construction to where it may feel like it's in the way. I don't feel like this is in the way at all. When I hold my wallet from the front side, you can't even see that the cash trap is even back there. On the front side, you have these two car slots. So you can slide your two, you know, main use cars up in here. Use this wallet. Work it in over time. That front pocket will break in and will become even more usable. And with your main car slot, you pop it up like this, then you have access to all your cars. You can kind of fan them out. Kind of do whatever you need to do to get the cars out. Pop them in and you're good to go. And this is kind of in there, all right? It's not kind of coming out. The cars are in there. It has a good construction. It's not going to shake out. You don't got to worry about anything happening when it comes to this Andar Pilot. Now, just like I said, man, they come in a few different colors. The other one I have right here is going to be the Camel Tan, which you already know is going to be my favorite color, all right? I absolutely love the Camel Tan. This is just, just this is just beautiful, all right? The Camel Tan color is just a magnificent color, and that's just also a good color to come up with, man. I feel like the Saddle Brown just has a little bit more character, but it's still an awesome looking wallet. Now, if you want something a little bit different, man, they just came out with the Wingman Edition. And the Wingman Edition is going to be one that basically has a removable cast actual clip. So this is going to be a clip for those who may not want an actual strap per se like this one. Then they're going to give you a money clip. Now, I'm not really sure how much money that the clip holds, but say for an example, you feel like this is just a little bit more sturdy, then you also have an option to get the Wingman Edition. And the Wingman Edition is going to be the one that has a clip or you want to just pop it out. All right, and maybe you just might want to use this as a money clip just by itself. I'm not sure if that application is even needed like that, but you get your little Andar branding right here, and then you just slide your money in here, and guess what? You got a little money clip that you can just throw in your pocket just for GP. So it just gives you a different option with this Wingman Edition. This is basically the way they look on the back side of it. A few things has changed. As you can see here, you get your little Andar on the bottom, and you get an area where the actual cash strip is included. So... Just different options, man. Overall, a very clean wallet. And since it was just Prime Day, they were in the Prime Day deal. And I didn't get a chance to get this video out in time. But they was like, T, don't worry about it. We got you. We are offering 20% for everybody that's watching this video, man. So you can go out there and grab yourself a pilot. Take T20 to get that 20% off. So if you don't want a wallet, head over to their website. They have tons of other dope designs that you can choose from. I'll be sure to pop my Andar playlist so you can check out some of those other products as well.